Hey, welcome to this week's Mortgage Minute with Mitch. So I got a little bit of a golf glow going on. I, I was able to get out and shoot some golf this morning. Did a little uh, networking and nine with the uh, fine folks at Fast Real Estate Services. So phenomenal company. If you ever need any commercial real estate needs, definitely want to check them out. So Guardians made it back to 500 this week. Uh, they just beat the Tigers last night and you know clawing their way back. Uh, we'll see what they, they do with the rest of the season. But we do have three All-Stars. And uh, Jose is going to be in the home run contest. So exciting stuff ahead for these guys. Uh, should be a gorgeous weekend, mid-80s. Although there's a small chance of rain, might want to double-check the, the uh, forecast. Overall, it looks like it'll be fantastic. So as far as mortgage news, the, this week was relatively flat as far as what interest rates did. Not a whole lot. I mean, huge news coming out. The, the uh, inflation has not peaked. So we're looking at 9.1% this month. Where this is going to stop, nobody knows. Um, so because of that, the Federal Reserve may need to get even more aggressive. So we saw them go from 50 basis points last month to 75. Well, now they're floating the idea of a full 100 basis points at the meeting the end of this month. So we'll see. Uh, what does that mean for you and your prospects of buying a home? Well, it means that rates are going to continue to go up like we've been saying, like we know. So don't panic. Um, the good news is, I mean, some people are and they're exiting the market. So it has gotten maybe just a little bit, not a ton, but a little bit easier to make uh, get under contract and, and purchase a house. So the competition is thinning out just a little bit. So, you know, that being said, if you have any, any questions on uh, what would work for you or your qualifications, we'd be happy to have that conversation. So Smart Edge is our program of the month. And I want to give you one example of when this would make sense. So let's say you're looking at a jumbo home, you know, maybe a million dollars, one and a half million. And uh, maybe, you know, a couple years ago, hit a rough patch, had to let a property go, maybe a short sale, or maybe even, you know, had to go through some kind of bankruptcy. Now, if that's the case, typically with a jumbo product, you're gonna have to wait a long time because you're under the microscope, everything's gotta be perfect when you need financing for jumbo. So if you've done what you should have and, and rebuilt or reestablished yourself in the credit world, uh, and you feel like you should be eligible to qualify, but you just have this thing hanging over you, that's where this can help. Because the waiting period is a lot shorter on a Smart Edge product than it is for any other jumbo program out there. So if you're looking into that as an option, let's have a conversation. We'd love to help you out and see if it would make sense for you. So appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next week.